and I guess when I think of teaching, the first word that comes to mind is joy. That teachers have a huge impact on uh, students and what they become in life. I guess the best part about teaching is working with the kids. Every fall there's that excitement of meeting a new group of students and uh, getting ready for a year, getting a classroom organized and ready. We have the power to influence and to excite children about uh, what learning is all about. And I think as teachers, helping kids put one foot in front of the other on a daily basis, that's what it's all about. I don't think there's any other job in the world that you can say that you can go into it and you can see the actual joy of people learning something new. Red Deer Public School District is a good place to work because we have great people, uh, really strong relationships within the district and good connections with our community. Our district teaches approximately 10,000 students. We have about 575 full-time equivalent staff and this year we have about 25 new teachers. Uh, every teacher who is in the beginning stages of teaching, which may be first or second year, uh, is paired with a mentor within the school that they work. That mentor is uh, selected by the principal uh, in collaboration with the new teacher and the mentor. And they form a relationship that then lasts throughout the year. And it's one of uh, encouragement, providing support, uh, providing assistance, collaborating, all the kinds of things that can assist the uh, beginning teacher to get the year off to a successful start. So it's quite beneficial as far as um, teaching you the, just the basic day-to-day -day kind of operations, how to survive as a new teacher, um, how to do simple things like run the photocopier or um, how to interact with parents at parent-teacher interviews. On the other hand, it provides an opportunity for someone who's actually been through the process, been through um, the trials and tribulations of a, you know, a first-year teacher uh, and give some real-world experience and actually kind of put um, a personal spin on a lot of the stuff where in university you get a much more a theory, this kind of gives you a nice hands-on approach to the reality of teaching. I think the uh, main thing that I hope to achieve in the mentoring process is to have my protege feel uh, he or she has someone to come to to answer questions, um, to help, and to really feel that he becomes a teacher. That's my main role. Uh, the way that I do that is I, I work at making, uh, building a strong relationship, a friendship with my protege. Um, I make sure that we interact outside of the school, so take them out for coffee or what have you, um, and make sure there's lots of opportunity for um, interaction. For me, it's been comforting knowing that I have a designated go-to person to talk to whenever I need advice, and just someone to answer questions and give me guidance. It's really a hard year, your first year, so having that person was just such a source of support. Probably the biggest benefit to students in the classroom is you have a teacher that is working with a seasoned veteran to give them all kinds of uh, examples and experiences that they've had that kind of takes that first year teacher past the first year mentality where a lot of the things that they're presenting to the students for, the fir for their very first time has already been tried and tested by a seasoned veteran. They have an opportunity to uh, glean and learn from mistakes that their mentor teacher has made along the way and it helps them remedy that and, and not have those same situations take place. Well, the mentorship program gave us some release time to sit down uh, with our mentor teachers and go over whatever we needed to. So I know with Doug and I, we planned an entire unit together. We looked at assessment techniques and just answered any questions that I needed to cover before I started my unit. So it was really helpful to have that release time to sit down and talk about those things. At the beginning of each year, we ask principals to identify uh, people that would make uh, uh, good mentors for the new teachers. And uh, sometimes they are grade partners, sometimes it's a, a teacher who teaches similar subjects, uh, or the principal may use professional judgment and uh, choose somebody else for uh, reasons such as that person just being an outstanding role model or somebody that, somebody that would work very well with the new teacher. 
So uh, the principal uh, is the uh, key person who makes the ultimate decision, but it's done in collaboration with uh, uh, mentor teachers and protégés uh, to try and find a good fit. As far as uh, what I get out of being a mentor teacher, I think uh, probably the, a stronger reason for me volunteering to be a mentor is the fact that I get to learn as well. Um, I get to learn some of the, uh, maybe some new techniques or, or methodologies that are uh, coming straight out of our, uh, our uh, training schools and that sort of thing. I get to, uh, to hear from, from uh, this person who's young and excited and energetic and, and uh, it's a really fun situation to be in. At our uh, first group meeting of the year, we have a gathering of uh, a group session for uh, mentors only and they share successful strategies with, e with each other. Uh, it's a facilitated discussion. We use people from central services uh, to just get, guide the discussion, talk a little bit about the kinds of things that are important to do throughout the year and strategies that are successful. Oh, it's definitely made me a better teacher. I can talk to my mentor about certain tips or tricks about whatever I'm teaching. Their knowledge can really help simplify things and let you know what's important to get through, what you can cut out, spend time on, that kind of thing. Time, 70 minutes. Uh, the beginning teachers uh, have reported that it, it has smoothed the way for them tremendously and has allowed them to uh, create uh, really strong relationships with colleagues. And uh, the mentor teachers report that it has been a really rejuvenating experience for them to be able to uh, assist a beginning teacher and reflect upon their own practice. And uh, so based on those kinds of uh, reports and that sort of feedback, it seems to be really meeting the needs of both groups. When you have a protege working with you who is wide-eyed and yet so willing and, and open to try things and to, to learn, it's a, a very, very uh, nice relationship to, to be a part of and a neat situation to be in. For me, the thing that makes teaching amazing is the students. I just love my interactions with the students, watching them progress and learn. Um, the journey we take together in a course, starting from them knowing nothing to them having so much knowledge at the end, to me it's just magic and I love it. <laughs>